All right, so the question of the day is going to be to solve the age old riddle. Now, we may not have a whole lot of unladen swallows in projectile motion in real life, but we do happen to have them on our handy dandy Angry Birds game. So let's take a look at what these swallows look like. All right, so this is gonna be the unladen swallow for whom we will calculate the initial velocity. All right, first we're gonna write down what we're given. We're given that it's an unladen swallow, so that means its mass is about 13 grams, or 0 0.013 kilograms. You can also, just from looking at the video, assume the theta to be about 45 degrees. It took about 2.3, let's say, seconds for it to hit that tower. The tower looked to be pretty high, so let's say it's about 1,000 meters high. Now, as always in these problems, we're going to start off with a little diagram. There's the projection going up to land on top of a tall tower, going from the ground, let's say, if my drawing were better, 45 degrees, and this tower is the one that is a thousand meters tall. All right, so we're going to construct our x, y table of equations. Noting, as always, in these problems that ax is equal to zero, while ay is going to be equal to minus g. vx is going to be equal to vi cosine theta. vy is going to be equal to vi sine theta minus gt. Now, if you forget whether vx is vi cosine theta or vi sine theta, you can always just construct a very quick little triangle. Here's vi. Here's Vix, here's Viy, there's theta. We just use SOHCAHTOA then to see that Viy as its opposite is going to relate to sine theta. Vix as it's adjacent to the angle is going to relate to sine. I'm sorry, cosine. So change in x is going to be vi cosine theta times t, just a straight calculation, just like in 1D kinematics, of velocity times time, since there's no acceleration. Change in y, however, is going to start off that way, but add in a 1 half gt squared here. Sorry, there's a t there, too. The 1 half gt squared is taking into account the change in y due only to the bit of free fall acceleration it's going to experience. All right, now let's look at what we're given. We're given delta y is 1,000 meters. We're given theta is 45 degrees. And we're given time is 2.3 seconds. Now, if we were to try to choose an equation to use to best utilize this information in order to get the initial velocity, the one that would spring to mind would be delta y is equal to vi sine theta times t minus 1 half gt squared. <coughs> so from here on out, it's just a basic plug and chug. You've got 1,000 meters is equal to vi times sine of theta is going to be 0 0.707 or root 2 over 2. t is 2.3 seconds minus 1 half times 9.8 meters per second squared times 2.3 seconds squared. All right, plugging in some of these numbers then, we have 1,025.92 is going to be equal to 1.63 times VI, which is going to mean that our VI is equal to 629.4 meters per second. In other words, the average airspeed velocity of that unladen swallow was over 600 meters per second. Not a very physical number, but one that we obtained through good projectile motion problem workery. In any case, if we want to see how far away it went now, let's see. Delta x would be 
vi cosine theta times t. We have all these values. We just plug it in, 629.4 times 0 0.707 times 2.3. That would be 1,023.47 meters. So now we have two answers to the simple question of what is the average airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow and how far could it go if you chucked it. Now something to keep in mind as we're looking at all this is not just how bad my handwriting is, but all these m's here, those are all meters. So when you're trying to figure all this out, the thing that does not enter in to the calculation ever is going to be the mass of the unladen swallow. So therefore, that part of the question is unnecessary. You don't need to know whether it was a laden swallow or an unladen swallow. All you need to know is the angle of its projection, time that it spent in the air, the height that it landed, or maybe how far away it landed. But its mass is irrelevant.